I'm back with a new video and I'm mad hyped because I'm going to be trying out the new Fenty Beauty Beach Please collection. I'm going to be showing you and swatching on my face the new Kilowatt Duos. Are y'all excited? Because this makeup is the makeup, well some of it, that Rihanna used in her Vogue everyday makeup tutorial, her get ready with me video, which was so cute. These just so cute. But anywho, we're going to be testing out these products. Not even testing them out because I've already tested them out because I went to the Fenty Beauty Masterclass and there's nothing really to test out. Like all of the products are bomb. I'm sorry, I'm biased. I am. I'm just telling you the truth. This isn't necessarily a makeup tutorial. I just really want to show you guys how the products look like on me and the swatches so you can make your decision if you want to get it or not so let's get this video going please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me and also put on your post notifications so you don't miss any videos so this is what the beautiful PR packaging looks like so pretty so luxe you already know how he does it I don't really need to give you an explanation these are the three brand Spanking new kilowatt duos and this is the same brush that the first collection came out with when the first the whole line released and then Fenty was so sweet to restock me on some foundation and the matte touch-up powder now I am a little sad because I do have the new lip colors so you know the color that Riri used in her Vogue get ready with me you know when she put it on and she was like oh y'all I can't find it <laughs> I literally lost it right before this video. You don't understand how stressed out I have been trying to film this video. And I, I just was too excited. I didn't want to put it off. I was going to film it later, but then I was like, I just can't. Like, so I'm sorry, guys. There is one missing, but I do have the other ones. Fenty Beauty also released a two-in-one liquid eye shimmer. Also, if you stay until the end of this video, I just might be giving something away. Okay, so the first color I'm going to show you is Sandcastle in Minted Mojito. This is what it looks like. It's a really pretty iridescent light blue and an iridescent kind of like a silverish gray color. So this is what the two colors look like. The next kilowatt duo is Seven Day Weekend in Poolside. And this is what it looks like. It's a really pretty bluish pink. I mean bluish pink. A blue, light bluish color. And then like a cool tone light pink. Oh, this is, this is like the perfect summer colors honestly now my last one which is my favorite this is a uh, mimosa sunrise and sangria sunset this one you can even see it's all beat up because I've, I've used it so much it's just so vibrant and beautiful this beautiful like orangey iridescent color and this really really hot pink iridescent color look at that i'm definitely going to be using this duo in this video because it's just so pretty so i'm going to start with mimosa sunset and i know she used that in her crease and even though it doesn't look like it's a, a transition color it actually is really pretty in the crease you'd be surprised i'm gonna put mimosa sunrise in my crease and just look how pretty this is i feel like what i like about these duos is it's not harsh makeup i know we're so used to the transition colors and more deeper tones in the crease but this is like really light and i feel like because it's more of an iridescent and shimmery color you don't have to be so perfect with it and that's why i like it i'm gonna put it on the other side. Let me put some lotion on my hands. Cause I know y'all be looking at my hands like, Ray, girl, girl, you're ashy. Put some lotion on. Put some lotion on. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. That's so beautiful. You can use the brush if you do have the uh, Fenty 120 brush. You can dip it in the color you want. And honestly, it it deposits a lot of color and it hits your crease perfectly. Now I'm gonna dip into Sangria Sunset. I want to put that on my lid. I'm actually gonna use my finger just because I want to. Oh my gosh. Even though I've used it before, it's just, this is a really pretty color. I haven't seen a color like this in a minute. And it's such, it's so, it's such a simple eye look, honestly. I mean, y'all saw it on her. I mean, not gonna look as good on me, but look at it. It looks so good. <laughs> look how pretty and easy that was. Honestly, I could just put some lashes on, mascara lip color booyah I'm gonna go back into mimosa sunrise and now I, I honestly want to make this look like a sunrise so I'm gonna blend it in with the sangria sunset so that it just it's just flawless flawlessly blends looks like a pretty pink sunset I'm also gonna take mimosa sunrise and put it on the bottom lash line on the whole thing pigment is insane Ooh. 
cool. So I'm gonna go back to Sangria Sunset and put it, ooh, I mixed it and put it on the outer corner. Honestly, even mixing these colors, it creates such a pretty color. Okay, I like it. I'm gonna use the truffle um, matchstick, Fenty Beauty matchstick, and I'm gonna put this just a little bit. I'm gonna take my brush, go like this, and just put a little bit on the outer corner to create some kind of depth and kind of make that, that orange just deeper. So I like the outer corner to be a little deeper than the rest. There we go. But honestly, you could just leave it how it was before I even did this if you wanted to. I'm just gonna put on some lashes. I hope you guys don't mind how random and all over the place this video is. Honestly, I know that it is. I've been trying to film this video the whole weekend and everything's just been going wrong. So I was like, Satan, I rebuke you. I'm gonna film this even if I feel like I'm just like, super messy because I, I really wanted to film it and my mind is just all over the place right now y'all so i hope you understand how we liking it how are we liking it so while those dry i'm going to use my covergirl peacock flare mascara for my bottom lashes bring those to life and i think i'm gonna use one of the other duos for the inner corner i might use this color i, I want it to be more bright i feel like right now it's just Ooh, actually, I think I'm gonna use Sandcastle. I might use Sandcastle, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Hopefully I don't ruin the look. I think I'm gonna go in Seven Day Weekend and put it in the inner corner. I just wanted to brighten it up a bit. Ooh. Oh, this is so pretty. Wait, can you see that? That was exactly the look I was going for. I just wanted something that would like go with the shadow but brighten up the inner corner. Do you see that? Do you see that? This is so pretty, y'all. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, these foils are literally, you want an inner corner highlight, these foils are gonna do it for you. It's just so, maybe if I add blue, I could add a blue. Ooh, ooh, the blue mix with the purple. Ooh, the blue mix with the, oh my gosh. Okay, so we're just, we're just freestyling right now. I have no clue what I'm doing, but I'm doing it and I'm loving it. I'm gonna dip into poolside. You get it? Dip into the pool side. And I'm actually gonna add it in the center on top of the pink. I mean, we were going for a whole different look. I thought I was doing the look Riri did, but I, I just wanna try all of these colors. And also it gets to show you how versatile and how random you can be and it still will create a pretty eye look. Honestly, I'm just doing random stuff right now. I think I'm gonna go back into Sangria Sunset. So I'm just gonna add more of the pinky color on the outer part and on the lower lash line. Oh man, I'm gonna be so popping this summer. Okay, so now I'm, I'm really excited and I wanna move on to showing you guys the two-in-one eye liquid shimmer because this is this would also look really really beautiful in the inner corner and just all over the lid just as a, a color wash so this is what they look like even though i do have a really bright cool tone inner color i really want to use a teeny keeny which is this color right here and i want to put that in the inner corner and i'm gonna use a brush to do it so i'm just gonna take a bit off of the brush like this, I mean the applicator. I don't want it to be too much. And the reason why I want to add this on top of it is because this has more shimmer particles in it and this is gonna intensify it and just, it just makes it look beautiful. All right, so now let's move on to the lips. I think out of all of the lip colors that I have, I want to try Ready to Mingle. It's a really pretty purple iridescent color. So this matches the shadow. For the highlight, I think I want to do Seven Day Weekend, which is this one, and I'm so nervous because I have never before in my life used a, uh, a highlighter color like this. So I'm gonna try it right now. And we're just gonna, we're gonna do a redoes, put some on the temples. Probably gonna look crazy on me. We don't have the same face shape or the same beauty, but it's okay. I wanna feel like I'm her right now. This is very different for me. I do not do stuff like this, but I'm liking it. I have to play with it and see like which colors are gonna go with which. I actually, let me try on the other lip colors for you guys. So the next color I'm gonna try on is single. This is bilingual. The second to last color is mermaid thighs. This one, honestly, I probably wouldn't wear. Obviously, when it comes to makeup, you want to wear things that, let's not lie, makes you look a little better, enhances your beauty. And I feel like for me, this is just, it's just there. Like it doesn't necessarily take away, but it doesn't enhance either. The last one is snakeskin. I'm going to be real bold right here and I'm going to try poolside. We're going to put that on 
The first one I put on was Seven Day Weekend. I'm gonna try Poolside, which is more of a purpley, cool tone, purple color. I'm just gonna go crazy with it. Yeah, we're a little too crazy. You know, I was trying to be like Riri, but um, it doesn't work for everyone. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know y'all. I just wanted to show you guys the collection. Y'all already know. Don't judge me on this makeup look. I mean, if you like it, that's fine too. I feel like the eyes are pretty. It's something I would wear. And the lips, definitely. I love the lips. But I still honestly have to get used to the highlighter with color. Well, that's all for this video, guys. I hope it was helpful. I hope it helped you decide if you want to get this collection. I honestly think that you should. I think it's worth it. It's really beautiful, especially if you really just want to try something new and step out of your comfort zone. You can just get creative, try new things. It doesn't hurt. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. And as always, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Deuces! If you wanna figure out how you can win my giveaway, all you have to do is head to my Twitter and you're gonna get a chance to win this package. All of the rules will be on my Twitter, so hurry up and go check it out before it ends. Uh, mm -hmm.